Welcome back friends uh, we have done with uh, categories and brands now we are going to work on this uh, product section uh, with a button add to cart and this is a panel within this panel uh, there are so many panels uh, which uh, I fetch from PHP and for this uh, inst for this instance I am uh, giving a, a, a dummy data so let's So we have within the column size 8 uh, of this within this we have a panel panel info and uh, within this we have a, a panel heading products within panel panel body uh, within this panel body we have a column of size 4 and this is a footer 116 let's uh, create column 4 within column 4 we have to create one more panel Panel, panel hyphen info. Just close this div. In this, we need to give panel. Sorry, let's see what happened there. First of all, save it and come to the page. Refresh. So we have a panel products with copyright 2016. The copyright panel footer. Within this div, we need to give a class class mm, panel hyphen heading. Let's close this div and copy it two times as usual. Just change it to body and leave it as heading and here write the name of dummy data like i'm writing samsung galaxy actually we will fetch it from php so for this instance i'm writing i'm giving dummy data uh, in body i'm giving a image img src equals to nothing and in he another heading I'm giving a price the dollar dot 500.00 dot zero zero. this is the price and a button uh, with uh, button with the class btn btn hyphen danger btn btn hyphen danger and name it uh, name the button uh, add to cart so add uh, style float right and give one more class btn hyphen excess extra small Just move it and give a tap and let's see how outputs look. Refresh. So we have a panel within that products product panel and within this panel we have one more panel Samsung for the products price and add to cart button. Now I'm going to show you my one folder which I have added in my a uh, project one folder XAMPP mm, then XAMPP stdocs project one this is the project one and I have added this folder product underscore images within this folder I have so many images PNG or JPG images mm, for the product and all our uh, size doesn't matter all our are different size so I am choosing one image like uh, this name, copy this name, images and come to the page, just give a class product underscore images slash images dot jpg 
save it and uh, come to the page refresh this so we have this mm, now our uh, product and categories brands are almost ready so this time to work on this uh, sign in and uh, this uh, sign in drop down like uh, like this and uh, like this so we need to work on this so come to the page index.php uh, where is our file this is our sign in button and uh, here is our end list end so just give enter and uh, add a ul tag and add a class drop down hyphen menu just close this ul tag drop down hyphen menu and uh, we will trigger this drop down uh, menu from this sign in button this link button we will trigger this drop down from this link so we need to uh, give uh, classes in this link class bootstrap classes uh, drop down drop down hyphen toggle after that we need to give data hyphen toggle uh, drop down data hyphen toggle equals to drop down so this uh, this link triggers this drop down so let's see an example this list and write anything save it and come to the page sorry to the page menu uh, this is not working mm, everything is fine class is top down toggle data toggle is top down and list is i think problem is in our um, jquery file problem is here yeah because when i was made this project uh, earlier uh, that time i used uh, jquery a library file uh, of version 2.2.2 .2 and now this is the version 3.0 so we 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 have two options just uh, go to the get bootstrap.com and uh, click on this button download bootstrap and uh, scroll down scroll down scroll down scroll down so this is the this is the uh, basic uh, uh, bootstrap temp file basic bootstrap file just we need to this is the jquery necessary bootstrap javascript plugins so we need to copy this line a script copy this line and uh, mm, remove this line and paste it here and save it and now go to the our earlier page refresh it and click on the sign in oh this is my previous one click on this sign refresh this and because of uh, link click on this yeah we have a drop down yes so for this uh, we have added this link so it will take a uh, more couple of seconds and then it comes so i have uh, one more option uh, just just uh, go to the jquery.com jquery.com you can see the guys you can see this is the ajax google library library file jquery version 1.11.3 is the old pre old oldest version 1.11.3 and i used in my project uh, this is my project uh, our uh, jquery 2.2.2 so you can download it uh, from this website 2.2.2 just click on download uh, scroll uh, jquery 3.0.0 and scroll jquery plugin plugin so here they remove this uh, jquery release 2.2.0 2.2.2 so here is a 
as of jquery 1.11.0 2.1.0 the comment is uh, comment is not included in the compressed file to locally download these files right click the link and select save uh, from the menu so click on this link right and save link as So I'm saving it in my desktop. Uh, jQuery. Dot. HTML. Uh, jQuery. Save it in desktop. So I have a file jQuery. This is the jQuery file, and just uh, open it. Oh no! This is another browser. I'm going to open it in my Chrome. Not here. Just open it in Chrome. Open with Firefox, Google Chrome. So it comes uh, jQuery dot HTML. Scroll down jQuery one point one one and two point one released. Scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. Here is the option option. Jigger 1.12 and 2.2. Just click on this link. It will take me to the jQuery official website. This is the blog of jQuery dot com. I have already given this uh, link in the description. So you can click on this link and just go to the jQuery 2.2 version. This is a minified version dot js. And click on this link. Just Control A to select all. Control C to copy and open this file in the new text. Paste Control V to paste. So I have this file. Minified is it has no spaces because it is minified. Just Control S to save it, and I'm going to save it as J. Query J Query dot two J Query two point JS save so save just close this and go to the and close this also close this also just scroll in the C drive stamp, HT docs, uh, HT docs, project one, project one, this is a project one, and copy this, actually cut, cut this, and paste delete this jquery file because it is 3.0.0 delete this and paste jquery2 and now come to the index.php page index.php page remove this link and add this link src source js slash jquery dot jquery dot jquery two dot js close this script and refresh this page so it will not take any time so it comes as fast as possible and when you click this is fine so it works now uh, me doing the next tutorial uh, the length of the video is going very large so if you like my videos uh, please uh, like and subscribe for the improvement of this channel